Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So today is March 8th and the prayer says, Lord, teach me how to be self-controlled rather than giving in to the wings of my emotions. Please fill my heart with peace in Jesus name. Amen. So let's see. Spirit guides, the love and light, ancestors and masters, my angel of prayer and light. What's going on for the zodiac sign of Aquarius and love for my collection? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay. So let's see what's going on. We have moving. Some of you guys could be moving in with somebody. Okay. Or we'll be moving a house. Um, we'll be packing right now. Okay. Some guys are thinking about moving like out of the country or like to a different state. Um, I'm also seeing here that somebody could be wanting you to move in with him. But they're not saying anything. It's like they're withholding the information from you that they want you to move in with them. They don't know if you want to, want to it's gonna like hurt them if you reject them. So it's like they're withholding that information. Okay, we have here changes coming. So I'm seeing here that probably doing like the next like moon cycle or something. I'm seeing here that somebody is gonna be like moving, or somebody here is gonna whatever this person is withholding from you, they're gonna let you know yeah they're going to be taking a risk they feel like they're going to be taking a risk by letting you know something here that they've been withholding from you okay so like during the next like new moon or full moon okay i'm sitting here so you guys probably be taking a risk as well okay and you withhold some type of information here that you're going to be doing something like really big in your career or you know probably hiding something whatever you're hiding you feel like you're going to like let everybody know when it's the right time for some of you guys we have regain control so i'm seeing here that somebody wants to regain control of the situation with you okay that's why they lost you they don't know if you want them back that's why they're so like they're taking risks with you to try to regain control of the situation back you guys probably haven't been talking on communication or this person probably is far away from you yeah, they want to spend time together with you, okay? They want to spend some time together with you. We have here pride and ego. Some of them still have pride and ego issues, okay? And that's withholding them back from coming in towards you right now, okay? So their pride is like telling them, like, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to reach out. You don't have to take that risk. We have storm viewing, okay? So we're going to clarify this, okay? So let's see. What's storm viewing? What's going on here? Storm viewing. I feel like the storm building is that somebody's going to be walking away from a situation. It's going to cause a lot of fights, a lot of emotions, a lot of anger. Pay attention to the details. Some of you guys, this person have an anger problem. Okay, you need to be careful. Okay, we have vacation, we have soulmate. Yeah, so I'm seeing here, okay, that somebody is going to be asking one of you guys or some of you guys here that they want to go on a vacation. Okay. But this could be, you be you could be meeting somebody new here. This person probably wanted to go on a vacation with you. Okay, you probably go out. Or it's not even they don't even have to like be like a vacation, like you guys traveling on a plane or something. It could be like a road trip, or you could be like you guys are just like going to a hotel or something, you know. Um, but you just getting away. Just both of you guys getting away here, okay? And I'm seeing here that for some of you guys you met somebody new. And you feel like this person is your soulmate, okay? And I'm seeing here somebody from your past. They're going to be going crazy. They're paying attention to you. And they're paying attention to this other person. If you, like, mention them or you got them on your social media, they're paying attention to you. And they're angry. They're pissed off. That's why they're trying to regain control of the situation, okay? And they're going to be trying to take a risk to come back towards you. This person has pride and ego issues. So it's like they're trying to act detached and cool. And like they not mad or anything. But deep down inside, it's like the storm is brewing. It's like they, they feel those emotions. But it's like their pride. They're trying to protect their pride and their ego. They're like, you know, not doing too much. But they're going to do too much. Okay. And I'm sitting here. What else is going on? Spirit guys. I'm going to and since it's the masters. Because they're like the kind of crazy and love. If you guys have Aquarius anywhere, you guys should know that, right? In your birth chart. Okay. Each one may not resonate with you. One may resonate with you. So just take it. I have resonance to your story. Okay. Yeah, this person from your past, they're trying, they're gonna be coming back. Okay, so you guys not the new person. This person is your soulmate. You love this person. 
Okay, you guys enjoy each other. We have past life love. Your soul remembers an intense connection. So you probably had an intense connection with this person from your past. Okay, and it's like they're going to be coming back here because they feel that intensity too. Or it's like you had to let go because this person could have had addictions. Okay, and it's like they could have been dealing with somebody else. Okay, I'm seeing here. Yes, pretty soon, try something you've never done before. So keep doing your passions. Keep following your genes. Keep doing what you need to do. Okay, I'm seeing here um, somebody has some type of addiction and is affecting this relationship, this past person here. Okay, Spirit is said, make sure you take care of yourself. Okay, so clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. You have friendship. This friendship leading to more. Some of you guys met a new person. Okay, you guys could have been friends, started off as friends, started off slow. And Spirit is said, it's leading to more. Okay, it probably led to more already. Okay, um, I'm seeing here, Spirit is also saying, um, it is said to trust in this situation. Okay. And it is like whatever thing you got going on with your friendship, it is safe to trust in the situation that it's going to go somewhere, okay? Definitely if you did the work, like as far as you not having addictions, like bad addictions, like, you know, drugs and alcohol, things of that sort, okay? Um, if you do, spread the same to clear your energy field, so you need to start focusing more on yourself and helping yourself, okay? And you need to step outside your comfort zone, Just try something you've never done before by getting out these addictions that you're so used to, Okay? And I'm seeing here, this past person could have called you to do addictions, okay, for some of you guys. And we have a decision, and it's time to decide about this relationship, okay? And we have put away the computer. So some of you guys could be working extremely hard, okay? You need to start having more fun, okay? And some of you guys could be very indecisive about what you need to do, what you want to do. Spirit of Sin is, you need to decide about this relationship, okay? Um, what do you want? Okay, because this past, I'm, I'm pretty sure this friend ain't gonna wait around for you if it's leading to more and this person wants to take things to the next level. Okay, and I'm also seeing here you guys are working extremely hard. Okay, working less will help to check in your relationship. That's why you probably haven't made a decision yet because it's like you're working extremely hard to get your mind off the situation, but it's like you're gonna have to make that decision. Okay, you can't run from it. Okay, yeah, okay, so let's see. What else is going on for the, um, okay, so you can't detach from the situation, okay, because I know a craze, you most definitely could go on your hermit mode, okay, and you can detach and try not to think about the situation, but you have to, okay, you have to make that decision, do what's best for you, okay, what else is going on with the craze, spirit guys of our light, ancestors and masters, my angels are the power and light, Okay, we have here the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, I'm seeing here that you walked away from somebody here because they could have had a family situation going on already. Okay, I'm also seeing here you guys felt lonely with this person. Okay, it's like this person could have like pampered you, could have romanced you, and then it's like they wasn't it. They didn't want to take things further with you. Like, why is you doing all this for me for if you don't want to take things further? Because they had a situation already that they was dealing with. They had a whole family. This person could have been married. Okay. Um... I'm seeing here this person is holding on to you as well, okay? And I'm seeing here you walked away from somebody, okay? And it's like even though you walked away from this person, this person is still holding on to you. You could probably feel them in your energy. It's like they're yearning for you, okay? And I'm seeing here it's like this person know that if they do come in towards you, they have to walk away from what they already was dealing with, which was a family dynamic here, okay? Um, they got to do what they got to do. Get those papers. Get those divorces because you're not dealing with it, okay? Um, some of you guys, they probably didn't, wasn't married. They just had like a strong um, foundation with this person where, you know, they could have they had a business together with Kiss Me Be. Okay, and I'm seeing here some of you guys also walk away and you start focusing on your money, okay? Of the Ten of, Pinnacle, Ten of Pentacles here. It's like you start focusing on your wealth, okay? What's going to get you, like, get good income, okay? And we have the Four of Pentacles here and we have the Nine of Cups. So I'm seeing here, okay? You guys will definitely be connected to water sign. I always say a lot of water already reading for you guys. Okay, and I'm seeing that you're holding on to your money. Okay, you're not spurging. Okay, and I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups here. You can have a lot of people that's trying to come in towards you, be charming, loving, and caring. Okay, um, we have the Ace of Wands. These people find you very attractive. Okay, they want to, um, you know, show you how attractive they find you with the Ace of Wands. And we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so I'm seeing here, be careful. Okay, because somebody from your past who wants to come back in, but this person is right on the line. Okay, um, they definitely want to get in your pants, so be careful, okay? And with Page of Wands here, um, somebody's going to be communicating to you, okay? That they wasn't happy where they was at, They that they're sorry that they rejected your offer, okay? This person going to be communicating to you because whoever they're with, it's like they're not there, 
like whoever's there they're not there <laughs> like it's like they're not happy you know that they're, they're dreaming about you and how you laid it down on them how charming and loving you was okay is that the five pinnacles here um they feel they 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 have this person have abandonment issues okay and they don't want you to leave them okay we have the four of wands here and we have here the queen of pinnacles okay so I'm saying here for some of you guys, okay, that this person probably don't have a lot of finances here. They're not doing as well as you are, okay. Um, and that's what's making them like feel not good about themselves because it's like they see you as just queen of pentacles here, okay. You're stable, you're you're grounded, you're looking beautiful, okay. And it's like the four wands here, they view they say they see you as somebody that they want to have a, a long term relationship with that they find very peaceful, okay, that you're gonna bring them a lot of joy, okay. It's like they want to be that king of pentacles for you. Okay, and it's like the two of wands here, this person is at a crossroads, okay. They have to choose the path, but some of you guys Okay, this person is just not finding out how strong our connection is. Like, it's like they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups here. Some of you guys have met somebody new. Okay, this person is on your level. They're financially stable. They're grounded. You begin to excel Virgo or Taurus. You have Capricorn here. Okay, and we have the Hermit. Okay. So I'm seeing here, it's, yeah, it's like this person, okay. Could have been dealing with somebody here. They could have been in a relationship. Okay. Both of them could have been very materialistic. They went towards, I'm saying this person went towards 3D things. Like materialistic things. Sex, drugs, money, power. Okay. And that's what caused them to be uncertain at this crossroads. Okay. And I'm also seeing here. Um, it's like. This person that they were was the Queen of Pentacles, okay? To kind of resonance to your story, okay? And you have the Empress here, somebody that's very nurturing, it's mother energy here, okay? And it's like, what's this? The Fool. And we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, you're nurturing, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're empowerful, you're empowering. <laughs> I can't talk to y'all. You're empowering, okay? And it's like this person sees a family with you, they see them being happy, you know? And with the hermits, like they go within, they reflect, and they see how beautiful, and you know, how much you've grown. Okay, you didn't allow the situation to make you a victim, and it's like they want to take this faith with you. Okay, it's like the seven pinnacles here, but they have a destiny here with somebody else. Okay, mm hmm. Spirit is saying it's going to be a time moment that's going to come. Okay, that's going to change this whole situation, it's going to rock the boat. Rock the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have justice. Okay, yeah, and this is gonna cause this person to want to bring you justice. Okay, and they're gonna try to come in towards you with the off with the page of pinnacles here. Okay, and it's like you probably don't want to hear from this person. Okay, you probably be far away from this person, drinking a mimosa or something, you know. And it's like this person gonna want to come in towards you and give you an offer. So I know probably whatever time moment this that's gonna happen because this person's so worried about investments and money. Okay, and this person could be like a workaholic. That's gonna come to an end. The tower. Okay, and the tower is actually good cards. People, you know, is afraid of change. A lot of people is afraid of change, or you know, they want to be where they be at. You know. And I'm seeing here, um, this person took a long time for some of you guys to make that move and it's like y'all took a leap of faith okay and you get your offer towards somebody else okay but some of you guys this person gonna be reaching out to you from them like gonna be communicating to you okay that they want some type of relationship okay that you talk to them a lot they learned their lessons okay they look at like their beliefs and traditions okay and it's like the wands here some of you guys are gonna tell this person like y'all, um, I'm already in a relationship. Okay, we're doing good, and this person gonna feel so out of place with the three of wands here. They're just gonna be like sitting there, like what, really? Mhm. Mm yeah, because you contemplate this person, contemplate this mom. Okay, they were too busy running on their ships to come in. Okay. Mhm. Mm and it's like they could have bird crumbed you. And they're realizing that they overgave to people. Okay, this person has finally realized that the hangman in reverse. Okay. And that some of you guys probably realized that this person was breadcrumbing you. This person was giving equally to you. Okay, and it's like, he was like, okay, 
I'm over it. Yeah, I'm over it. The death cry is about today. I'm letting you go. Adios, amigos. Okay. So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!